Hello and welcome to our next video of my powered exoskeleton project. In this video I'm going to be showing the Mark II exoskeleton in movement with me wearing it. It should be a pretty quick video, it's just going to be me doing some gym exercises in the suit as it is and I will talk over the top and just give a description of what is working and what is not and how I'll change in the future. I have also been working on some composite armour that I've recently had tested and it's been pretty successful so far. So hopefully I'll have another video coming pretty soon as well after this one. So a quick walk around of the torso. You will see on the back of the spring setup, which is meant to allow your lats and your general scapula to extend and contract when required. Works pretty well, although to be honest, the springs are a bit strong. We need to get uh, softer springs to allow more movement. The main upper body issue I've found is that the elbow joint still tries to nip your forearms in certain positions, particularly when you're moving your arm to an acute angle, like doing a proper shoulder push, push press. I have worked out how to solve this issue, but until I've other parts like the arm are designed, there's kind of no point in doing it yet. However, it is a recurring theme in this issue, me trying to bend my arm fully back as it should be. An issue I found with lifting weights off the floor was that due to the heel on the boots you are having to bend over quite a lot further to lift stuff off the floor, making your natural weight lifting that just that bit more difficult. More than that, the suit did move well for it all, didn't really have an issue, just a little bit harder for that. And for flies, it all felt all right. However, this is where the springs on the back are just a bit tight and it starts to show as it tries to raise the top of the shoulders off your back. And you can see a bit more in here where it's pushing the shoulders down more than it should do. At that point, the springs should be compressing and allowing the shoulders to go in more. Press ups are easy enough, not an issue. General moving about is not a problem. It all feels pretty comfortable and I'm happy with how it is. And at no point did I think I want to get the suit off me. The Mark II doesn't feel too heavy either. The only thing with pull-ups was it all felt a bit odd in the shoulders. I think it's mainly down to the springs being a bit hard on the back. But at the same time, it is going to feel a little bit alien wearing all the metal strap pretty tight to you. The skipping went pretty well once I got the hang of it. I did learn that I just needed to be on my toes a bit more, let the springs in the boots handle the weight of the suit. It did work as planned, I was pretty pleased with it once I got going. The walking on the treadmill does show the boots pretty good. Shows the springs that you can see as I'm walking. I do think in future I might get rid of the springs in the heels and make the heels separate to the balls of the feet, if you will, to the front half of the feet. I don't really feel like the spring is needed in the heels. I 
and onto some pad work. It felt pretty good, felt mobile enough. The two issues I had with the, any boxing work was there's no current grippy sole underneath the boot, so on the carpet my feet just want to move about a lot and sweat. Why most of this is just completely stood still. I didn't really feel the work was an issue. Obviously, but the end was bad. The main issue was the quality of the knitting of the forearm. It did just mean you didn't want to be your hands up your face like you should do. Keep your hands high. Why, particularly on the left hand, is pretty low. Overall, though, I was pleased with the movement through my hips, through my shoulders, through my legs. That stuff I am really, really pleased about. That does outweigh the little issues that I've had, to be honest. So there's things I can improve now, and there's things that need improving, but also there's just no point in doing it now. So for example, anywhere where the hinges nip a little bit, like here, just catches the skin on your forearm, quite like the old one did. Because that will be replaced with a, a motor mount, there's not really any point in bothering changing that at the minute. However, there's stuff I can change, like the boot. I can come up with a better spring system for the boot that just feels better. I can mold soles to the bottom of it. I'm thinking like a springboard system so there's still some movement, but less movement side to side, because this is just a bit too much, really. When you try to walk about, you feel a lot of that flex. However, there is the issue of when it gets covered up with the armour, however I have it, the boot is going to be bigger by probably 30 mil all the way around it by the time it's enclosed. So then when you get into making new soles, you're then wasting your time because the sole's gonna have to be bigger when it's got armor on it. So even though I can come up with a spring system to replace the existing cut down springs that fit. Also any major redesigns, for example, making it so the legs open out, so you don't have to put your leg in from behind, which takes considerable time to put on. Also changing things like the latching system, the hinging system on the chest piece and on the belt. Until I have the armour, I don't know exactly where the hinging points will need to be. I imagine stuff will change with how thick the armour will need to be. So until I've at least got a mock-up of the armour, there's just uh, no point in modifying much else. After this stage of testing, I am pretty pleased with the Mark II exoskeleton though. It's gone as well as I could have expected. It has been a bit of work getting some stuff to fit properly, modifications mainly to the ankles and to the feet, but there's nothing particularly I'd change at the minute, nothing that I think I could have done better apart from the spring-loaded boots. Again, a lot of stuff will change on the next variations, but at this stage there were no point complicating any more than what there is now. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll be able to make some more sooner this time.